Okay, ten o'clock. Okay. Is it in here? No, it's not. What the heck? Okay. So, before I continue, Nero is going to look up real quick for this mask. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. I see what the issue is. I'm just doing it wrong. You can buy it on the last night, which is weird. Okay. So I'm not crazy. I'm just doing this wrong. But I did, I did have to save the lady. So I was right on that. Oh, right, you charge me when I'm taking out 500 rupees. Like a jerk. Okay, oh. now for dawn of the final day, I want this mask. Okay, so now we can get this. Eight hours remain. Let's go on down to the curiosity shop. And on the last night, here it is. <laughs> Bargain all my masks for use at bedtime. All night mask, you won't get sleepy if you wear this mask. I'll buy it. And you got the all night mask. Apparently this mask won't let you drift off to sleep, even if you want to. We got the insomnia mask. Curiosity shop rarity. You bought the all night mask from the curiosity shop on the final day. It was a tad pricey, but it's still a great find. <laughs> so that takes care of that. And you might be wondering, well, what do you use this mask for? Well, go back in time, because you can't use it on the last night, unfortunately. It kind of sucks. Get down on the first day. I have nothing to lose, but I spent all my money. Dawn of the first day, 72 hours remain. Not for long with this all night mask. So where we gotta go now, is we gotta go to the Stockpot Inn. Now I haven't gone to the Stockpot Inn that much. Uh, two reasons. First off, Stockpot Inn opens at 8 a.m. Guess what? I have no time to wait. Mask goes right there. Deco mask goes right there. 
Whoop. Stock pot in. There's actually some rupees you can get in here too. As you can see, here is where the troop for the Gorman troop are. You know what? We're gonna go and get another mask too because it's uh, fairly easy to get. right in here. Here is an old lady. You want to hear the story of the four giants, but we want to hear the Carnival of Time first. Carnival time. Each year, the season of harmony begins when the sun and moon are in alignment. Paying homage to the way that both nature and time are tirelessly in the process of progressing. Carnival time is when the peoples of the four worlds celebrate harmony and request fruitfulness for the year. For ages, people have worn masks resembling the giants who are the gods of the four worlds. Now it has become a custom that each person to bring a handmade mask to the Carnival of Time. It is said that a couple, if a couple unites on the day of the mask, the day of the festival, and dedicates a mask as a sign of their union, it will bring luck. The centerpiece of the carnival is the clock tower. On the eve of all festivities, the door to its roof is opened. From atop the clock tower roof, a ceremony to call the gods is held, and an ancient song is sung. All of these festivities for the Carnival of Time are held so that we may ask the gods for a rich harvest in the come year to come. <laughs> you did a good job. That's all for now, Tortoise. So, now, when does the clock tower on the roof open? On the eve of the festival. <laughs> and she gives you a piece of heart. History of the Carnival. Andrew's grandmother read you a story about the Carnival of Time. Your knowledge of the clock town history is growing. The, luck, the old lady from the Stockpot Inn. She's full of anecdotes. If you stay awake, she'll read all kinds of fascinating books. But... I'll pass, actually. Because it is nine, and I do need to get another mask. Uh, this mask we're not going to use right now, but I want to use this mask in due time. Okay, so it opens at 10 a.m., so it should be open soon. We gotta wait for Gorman to come. Here comes Gorman! Okay, Gorman goes on in. So open this. Open this. And there's the leader of the Indiegogos, the band Whoa. manager. So we have to locate the mayor's, the mayor's wife's, well, the mayor's son, Cafe. Disappeared about a month ago. <laughs> and we get Cafe's mask. You've been recruited to locate a missing person. Wear this to inquire about the missing Cafe. Madam Aroma's search. Madame Aroma has asked you to find her missing son. Cafe's mask could be the key to the mystery. The mayor's wife, one of the most influential people in town. She's in charge of the carnival in the post office. But that's not all that's going on in here. Oh, this is their bedroom. 
They, the mayor and the mayor's wife sleep in separate beds. <laughs> but what if we go and see the mayor? What in the world? So meet Mayor Dotor, the mayor of Clocktown. It's his job to keep the place running smoothly. He's the most influential person in town. And it seems something's going wrong. And it seems people don't really want to do it. And also, I love that picture. Nope, I want to see the picture. Let me see the picture. I love that picture. <laughs> so... What do you do with Cafe's mask? Well, I know I said I wasn't going to do this, but in the end, I'm going to end up doing this. Oh, okay, I'm an idiot. This is a quest that you actually have to do three times. Come inside here, and we talk to Andrew while wearing Cafe's mask. That's the all-night mask. So meet Anju, the only daughter of the Stockpot Inn's caretakers. Uh, she's a little timid, but sweet and polite. Oh, I guess it's a little bit too late because of that. Uh, darn, looks like I waited too long. Unless... Oh, there she is. I think she's gonna go and feed her... Yeah, she's going to feed her grandma. So, it looks like we're not gonna be able to do it in this one. This is a cute little interaction, too. I'm reminded of my grandfather. I'm reminded of my grandfather back in the day. Back when my grandfather, he, it was very hard to feed him because of just how he ended up uh, acting. Because he had Louis' body dementia, which is basically like... He, it's dementia and Alzheimer's, but your body forgets how to uh, function, which is always terrifying. And it's a genetic thing, so it runs in my family. This is very saddening, as you can see. I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you. Darn. Okay, so I can't do Andrew Cafe side quest 
it looks like because I waited too long, but we will do one last thing before we get off and let's get more history of the world. I would like to hear the four giants. This story without the all night mask is impossible to listen to without falling asleep. Four giants, this tale from long ago when in all the peoples weren't separated into the four worlds like they are now. In those times, all the people lived together and the four giants lived among them. On the day of the festival that celebrates the harvest, the giant spoke to the people. We have chosen to guard the people while we sleep. 100 steps north, 100 steps south, 100 steps east, 100 steps west. Should you ever have need for us, should the mountain blizzard trap you, or the ocean swallow you up, call out to us loud and clear. We shall hear your cry. Now then, there was one who was shocked and saddened by all this. A little imp. The imp was a friend of the giant since before they had created the four worlds. Why must you leave? Why do you not stay? The childhood friend felt neglected and had spread his anger across the four worlds. Repeatedly, he wronged all the people there. Overwhelmed with misfortune, the people sang the song of prayer to the four giants who lived in each of the four compasses' directions. The giants heard their cry and responded with a roar. O imp, O imp, we are the protectors of the people. You have caused the people pain. O imp, leave these four worlds, otherwise we shall tear you apart. The imp was frightened and saddened. He had lost his old friends. The imp returned to the heavens and harmony was restored to the four worlds. And the people rejoiced and they worshiped the giants of the four worlds like gods and they lived happily ever after. Well, except for the skull kid. <laughs> what did they do to people? Sing? They sang a song. And normally that would be what would give you the piece of heart, is that one, and then you'd use the all-nighter mask. But now you don't need to worry about it. So, there you go. So, there we go, folks. With the masks we have... We are missing one, two, three, four, five, six more masks. Uh, through the Andrew and Cafe side quest one, we can get a total of two more masks. Um, let me think. Which masks are we missing right now? Um, no, no, no. We can get three masks from there. Uh, I know where we get one more mask. Uh, we get that actually in a temple. And then the last mask we get in Icona Canyon. So yeah, we are on track. We have, uh, done most of what we need to do, folks. So anyway, guys, I'm gonna end it off right here. This has been Neuronium. And next time, we are gonna actually do the next dungeon of the game. The Great Bay Temple. See you all next time. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to check out the prequel to Majora's Mask, check out the top link for a playthrough of Ocarina of Time 3D. And if you want to see one of my favorite 2D Zelda games, check out the bottom link for a playthrough of The Legend of Zelda, A Link Between Worlds.